Hey guys, it's me, T. How are ya? Y'all missed me, I missed you too. Make sure you're subscribing, liking, and commenting on all our videos. Thank you so much. I've been reading the comments. This week we're making cornmeal porridge. So to begin, jumping right in, we just put some water, bay leaf, and pimento seeds into a pot, bring it to boil. And while we have that boiling, we're gonna go ahead and just make some cornmeal, just cornmeal with some tap, cold tap water. Make sure that the mixture is mixed out properly and we don't have any lumps or dry spots, right? So make sure I use a fork because it makes it easier to mix. And then as soon as I mix it, I add it to the boiling water. Now, the trick to having a smooth pot of porridge is to add your cold mixture to the boiling water while mixing, right? So you have to be able to, I want to say multitask, but not really multitask. But yeah, you have to make sure that you're mixing while you're adding the mixture so that the lumps don't happen. We don't like lumpy porridge. Right, so that's what I'm doing here. Just adding the cold mixture to the boiling water um, to make sure that, and, and mixing to make sure that we don't have any lumps. So notice here, you don't see any pimento seeds. That's because just before I added the mixture, the cold mixture, I removed them. So I really just wanted them for the flavor of the porridge, but the people in my house hate having it in their mouth, especially my husband. So I removed them, tossed them, before the meal is even prepared i just want the flavor of it so i get rid of them real quick right so for now this is it you just keep stirring keep mixing let it continue to cook as i call it boil some other some other people will call it just boil the porridge all right so for me um i want to say it will be ready to get all the other ingredients in about 15 20 minutes and for me for this one because i'm giving it to the baby as well i made it a little bit thinner than i would normally make it only because she wants it out of her bottle she doesn't want to be fed with a spoon and a con and a plate bowl and all of that so to lessen the stress i just make it a little bit thinner and i keep my spoon in some water cold water to be exact so i mix or stir and then just add it back to the measuring cup with the cold water right so that I don't have any residue or any hmm, on my spoons so the ingredients that you saw before salt nutmeg vanilla evap milk and condensed milk is all I'm gonna use right those are all I'm gonna use to sweeten the porridge so I just have it continue to boil I lower the heat low to medium just so that i don't have the cornmeal just popping all over the place if you know anything about cornmeal porridge if you allow it to burn you you're gonna stay burned okay so you need to make sure that when it's popping and doing all those nice things that cornmeal porridge you love to do you don't have it touching your actual skin all right so i just stir and i'll keep stirring just to make sure that my mixture is together and the texture of it is what I want it to be. All right. So for me, right here is when I know. Because you can see the smoothness of the porridge. That's how I like my porridge to look. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the additional ingredients. But at this point, I turn my stove completely off. So the stove gets turned off while I add the salt and the other ingredients because I don't need a heat at this point or I don't need a fire at this point the heat alone from the burner is enough right you don't want your porridge to burn either so you have to be smart with that so for the ingredients you just add a little bit of salt and I add my you can add it basically any way you want to but for me it's a whole thing all right, so now we're adding the salt. Just a couple pinches of salt, dash of salt, however you wanna put it, not too much. Put the salt, I put the nutmeg, and then I'll add the evap milk. Nutmeg for me, nice, um, ni nice 
um, spice to season with. It gives it a very nice flavor. I put this in my chocolate tea as well. But yeah, so it makes it, a, it gives it a nice flavor. So I go ahead and I add my evap milk. Not too much either because the sweet milk is what really gives it that taste. So you just add a little bit of the evap milk, add the nutmeg, the salt, and you mix. Now for the condensed milk, the condensed milk that I was using or the sweet milk that I was that I used in this video was uh, was already open and in the refrigerator. So it's kind of cold, so it took a longer time to come out of the can. But this was like three quarters of the tin that was left, and I used the entire three quarters. Sometimes, depending on the size of the pot or how many how much porridge I'm making. I'll use an entire can of condensed milk because the cornmeal is flavorless, right? So you want to make it as nice and as flavorful as possible. So between the sweet milk, the nutmeg, and the vanilla, you can do that. You can get it that way, right? So you go ahead and you use the entire can of milk, depending on how much part you're making, just so that you can have a nice little sweet kick to the porridge. And it doesn't make it watery either, but you don't want to add too much evap milk. So I'm adding the entire three quarter thin tin of sweet milk. And then the last thing I normally add is my vanilla. Only because just, just because I like seeing how it looks when you put it in the porridge. No real reason, don't have to do it this way. But the vanilla, most of the time, I'll use two caps to three caps full of vanilla. This time, my vanilla was finished and I was so mad. I didn't realize it was um, that amount that was in there. But it, it served its purpose and it was good. And after this, porridge perfection. Good. Get some crackers or a hard old bread. Good to go. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Alright, so for my older girls, they prefer to have some sprinkles of brown sugar on the top. Sarai, not not at all. Um, but the older girls like it, so I do it for them. That was Fate's bowl and Sarai's bottle. And that's it. Quick breakfast, 30 minute stops, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.